What's up, everybody? I'm Mr. Glasgow. This is Mr. Glasgow TV. It's uh, technically it's um, Thursday, April 4th, 2019, but this is going to be my Wednesday, the third broadcast so that it doesn't get mixed up so I don't have two Thursday ones. I'm going to play some more Sekiro. Uh, Shadows die twice on the PC here. Uh, making some decent progress, but it's bittersweet because the game's so good. Um, I feel myself finally filling in and being more more capable ninja. But the more capable of a ninja I become, the more progress I make. The more progress I make, the closer to the end I end of the game I get. So uh, all good things must come to an end. Though that's the uh, the curse of the good game. So yeah, let us get into it. Hope everyone's had a good, good week. I had a. I'm, I'm really late today because today was a long day. Went to uh, to a, a local farm for my daughter's uh field trip so that was early and we went shopping I'm still recovering from being sick um hey what's up Dan yeah sorry <laughs> sorry I'm late but uh Hopefully, once I get once I kick this sickness and I resync with my my schedule and Alexa being on me uh, to be on time later, Dan. <clears throat> and hopefully, my voice from being sick is like super low. So hopefully, I'm not like wrecking people's earphones. <laughs> I can only imagine so much bass in my voice now. It's like, oh God. This guy. Okay, where am I going? Last on last adventures. Sounds good. All right, appreciate it. Later. Um, Ashina Castle, Reservoir, Ninja Vanish. Ninja teleport. I wonder if we can get stuck with a voice, like your sick voice. Like, hey, this is my sick voice. Ladies. Oh. 
Um, I wonder if there's anything else. Oh, I see something glowing on the other side of the, the tower up there. Okay, let's check it out. Ah! Oh, God! Oh, God! Sekiro, I'm going to have to ask you to... Uh, Stuff together, man. But what I was about to say is that I wonder if there's anything else up here that I can. Uh... It's funny because, like, once you figure out where all the enemies are, you know, you realize you don't actually have to fight them all. To make it to the the next boss or the next mini boss, it's like you realize the the different routes you could take that might not be apparent the first time around. But for certain boss fights, like this mini boss fight, you didn't want to you didn't want them hanging around, so you go through and try to clear them all. Saw something glowing over here from a distance. There, what is it? Something good. Something good, of course. <laughs> scraps. Literal scraps. And what's that? Is this a leap of faith moment? Is this an even shorter shortcut? Ah, kind of is. It's kind of bad. Don't notice me, dogs. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's kind of a bad shortcut, but, uh, you know, it is a shortcut. That would actually, if I was fast enough, you'd just. Just run through, jump over. So like I said, at first I thought, you know, at first I came this way, this route. You know, through these guys, through these guys. Then I said, hey, I could just jump across this ravine, go up there, clear the top, work my way down, clear the bottom, work my way up to here. Now I realize there's a route that goes this way. So it's like, first I skip these people, then I can skip these. Hey. The here here's the train. Choo choo. Oh, God. What's up? Ah, come on. Do it, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, not again. Ouch, my shins. Never even knew that. Yeah, it's crazy. There's so many optional routes in this game. I feel like I, I'm trying to get a, get a gauge of how far I am in the game. Um, there's just no telling, really, because... Some parts you can get, you can grind if you feel like you need to to get the skill points to get, you know, skill moves. So that distorts it. There's so many optional routes. You can basically skip all these mini bosses. And just go straight to the, the storyline bosses with the, uh, actually impact the end game. Like the bosses that actually have cloud or what's the, the little fog. Door fog doors. Is that the
Oh, here's she. <laughs> yeah, this game has so many, so many routes. Okay. The bell guy? The guy over here with the dogs? Yeah, I, I, he's like a one shot. If you sneak, if you kill the dogs with the shurikens, he must not be the bill guy you're talking about. <laughs> he's the bill guy I'm aware of. And then I went down in those catacombs and I killed the guy and I said, if this guy gets up, I'm out of here. And guess what? He got up. So I am trying to get back up on top of this bridge. Can I? How do I get up back up? Because this is more of a side. Leap of faith. saw it for a second. There's so many jumps like that, though, that you don't see. You have to take a leap of faith, and then at the last second, one of the green the green things pop up, and it's like, oh, okay. Like with the snake, the big snake, the first time I ran into it, I didn't know where to go. I literally didn't know where to go. I was like, I'm running into a wall here. <laughs> of course, I was panicking. Um, can I make that jump? I don't think so. And then, it, and then someone just said, jump, just keep going, don't stop. I was like, fine, you want me to keep going? I'll keep going, and we're going to go, oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. What am I missing? Wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> Where's my... What's it called? Oops. We were just over there. And I'm only just noticing these scrapings along the wall. Which indicate we can... Uh, we can hug that wall. I kill this guy every time. Well, I guess I could have hook shot it to that too. Oh, we got a praying guy. See. I'm trying to target him. So it's friendly, I'm assuming. Hey man, what you doing? What you, what you looking at there, guy? Oh. Oh. It truly stirs my soul. Beautiful, mm. and yet somehow sad. As if it yearns, it calls for someone. What are you talking about, man? Let's greet him, I guess. Hey, who are you calling for? <laughs> hey. Let me hear it one more time. Hey, you. What? <coughs> oh, my name is Jinzaimon Kumano. My duty is to patrol the moat. Hmm. I've not seen you around before. Which clan are you? I cannot say. You cannot say, you say? Hmm. So you are a shinobi, then? I cannot say. The manners could use some work. No matter. If you are a shinobi, I won't press any further. I feel like if I was a true shinobi, I wouldn't have walked up to a random dude obsessing over a hole in the ground and go, hey, 
but you know, to each shinobi's their own. Uh, so what you what you looking at down there? By the way, <laughs> a true shinobi would have assassinated him, assassinated him on the off chance that he actually got spotted. Let's tie up any loose ends. Hey, can I assassinate that? <gasps> So obviously, I jump on top of this guy, right? Obviously. <clears throat> no. Ob uh, obviously, I'm jumping on top of this guy. The question is, how hard is this fight going to be, really? Oh, God! I did it wrong! Oh, no! I assumed he was bad because I could target him. Snap. <coughs> Might have screwed the pooch here, boys. Wait a minute. I remember you. Ow! Fun fact, you could talk to the guy. Not anymore, probably. Ow! Wait, wait, let me reset! <laughs> that was an apparition. That was a dream. See, in Dark Souls, <clears throat> I, I walk up to the same dude and he's hostile. In this game, we're about to find out. Okay. I, I think I fought this guy before. He's the guy that was guarding this. If I believe, if I'm correct. Except now he has two stocks instead of one. Because so I believe he only had one, the one stock. Let me see. Let me see if he could talk. If he talks. Hey, man. Hey, wait. 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 Ow. Wait. Stop. My oh, man, I'm not used to such confined spaces. <clears throat> I probably should have warmed up. He doesn't talk anymore. He's now taking an amount of silence until my death. Oh no. The plague of my, my misadventures has begun again. Did you see that guy load in? The game's like, surely he's not coming this way. Oh, he's coming! Load the load the guy. So the question is, can this guy help me? And my other question is, why is Sekiro so much shorter than everyone? Maybe that's why. <laughs> uh, I was about to say, maybe that's why he was abandoned in the battlefield that those many years ago. That's mean. No disrespect to my short people out there. Okay. Oh. Nope. 
Can I not get the drop on him? Okay, counter hit. If I remember the fight correctly, he's. I'm a, I gotta counter punch this guy. I remember correctly, I was able to... I was able to counter his... I was able to counter his, his sidekick. I kind of look like I know what I'm doing now. This camera. Kunai. Arwen. to get his stock down to one. What's that about? Remember? He's like I'm he's fighting exactly like the guy like I said that I got the feathers from. That's well, that's what I call this. <laughs> but all I remember from the fight is number one he fell off a cliff the first time I fought him, right? <laughs> so it was kind of a fluke, me getting this ability. But I felt bad. So I went back up there, and without even using this, or any other new move that I started grinding for, I was able to beat him just by counter-hitting. Being very picky. Conservative with your counter-hit. But even then, he's pretty tough. So it'd be nice to get him down to one stock with a preemptive attack, but I don't know. It's not letting me do it. I don't see any red dots. Is he that alert? Stop! Camera! He literally... So that's his secret move. He jumps into the camera. Jumps into the camera, so then you lose your lock. Guy! My man! Stop. See? I didn't block enough there. Ah, oh, God! Oh, you coward. Fight like a man. Ow. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, look, we did like the same move. We're twins. The confined space. I blame the confined space. <clears throat> okay, that time I blame... Uh, that one's on me. I still feel like I need to warm up. I 
feel like jumping straight into this fight right here is probably... Let me think. I got this move. I got the feathers that I could use, I guess. The thing about the feathers is if you just use it, you go straight up in the air and you can do a downward attack on them, right? I could do this and teleport sideways, ninja vanish around them, but then the camera still remains an issue. Uh, right now, my special attack is that one, which I think is actually good because it's very mobile. I can get around his little footsies. Block, 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 block. <laughs> Basically block like crazy. Usually if you d dash or when he does his kicks, the g if you time it right, you're, the game actually lets you really dip and dive. Dip, dive, and dodge um, around him. But sometimes not, in, not how you expect. So if he kicks you a certain way and you just press dodge, even though you might be pressing dodge back to go away from the kick, it'll dodge you like under him and forward. It'll enter you into like a pre predetermined dodge path, which isn't the best always. And you want to use dodge because It doesn't use up your posture, right? So I try to block, 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 dodge, block, 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 dodge. Usually after a dodge, I try to attack. That's kind of the pattern I'm trying to get with this guy. It's when he gets, it's when, when one of those dodges throws me in a corner and then he just pounces. Okay, I'm still gonna try for this preemptive strength if I can. This is if I do my special attack. Shit, shit, oh wait. <clears throat> shit, shit. Okay, he doesn't, he doesn't jump over the invisible wall, okay. Shit. Okay, all right, all right, anyway. Shit, Counter should it. Ah! Stop. <laughs> Wait. Wait a minute. So there's an invisible, there's a gray wall there. Or a shadow wall there, but behind me there isn't. So maybe I'm supposed to keep going this way until the other guy jumps down to help me. Other guy! <laughs> okay, let me not. Here is the hoping. I was thinking maybe because they don't give you the counter hit or the instant preemptive strike, maybe there's a little, there's a cheeky way of them giving it to you without giving it to you, you know what I'm saying? So here we go, we're in the grind already. We're in the meat grinder already. Dragon rot meat grinder. Maybe I have to talk to this guy and be like, hey, when you see an opening, you do it. I'm like, do what? You'll know. <coughs> Shinobi, have you ever heard someone playing the shamisen around here? I followed the sound and it led me to this well. I have not. Oh, 
Is that so? I thought since you're a shinobi, you might know. I wonder who that melody calls to. I don't know why, but I can't stop thinking about it. Ah, hmm. uh, no, it's nothing. Please forget I ever spoke of it. Shamahumamwet? Let me think, what else could I use? I don't really think there's anything else, I just gotta counter hit him correctly. For two stats, two stocks. It's as preemptive as I can get. He's literally right next to me. slash really though I wonder if there's gonna be other bosses like this where it's a uh, same guy you fought before version version 2 in a more uh, in a less accommodating location Soon we're gonna be fighting on the wall like this. Yeah. Yeah. There's a follow-up to your already overpowered attack. Please! Where is he? Where is he? Is he stuck? Oh my god. The range on that kick. One down.
Ah! No! Oh my god. Yes, walk away. Get the heal! Ah, you bad! What? Oh my god, camera! God, camera. <laughs> okay, we got a stock down. That's progress. In a game like this, it ain't you know, it's ain't nothing to, nothing to feel too shabby about. Just got manually assassinated. I ain't like my now, but I guess that's probably faster. Alright, I think staying in the open area is probably best. Oh my god, I used to be able to ro uh, roll. Wait. Wait. Let's go over here. Uh. So I spent my second revive, so I feel like I need to get that back actually. to get my second revive back because him dying for one stock gives me my second revive back so if I die the first time I need that if he was a one if this was a one stock fight I wouldn't really need it because I'd be blocked off from it but it's a two stock fight so I need it so now we can't fight him until I get it back <laughs> and that's not me trying to find an excuse not to fight him I feel better about the fight, obviously, but... With the, with the camera, if it wasn't for the camera, and if it wasn't for my lock losing him when he's literally right beside me, it's not like he goes around a corner. He's like touching me, and I'm like, where did you go? <laughs> where did you go, sir? Sir? Pardon? Okay, there has to be something I can jump towards. Hook shot. I can't be trapped here. Yeah, the camera's the worst right now. Am I stuck fighting this fight until the end of time? There's a door over here. Okay. But it doesn't open from this side. I guess I can uh, sit here trying to worry. <laughs> Sitting here doing things the hard way. Woman's if that's me from the future. Do I get to learn a ninja kick? Oh. Oh. See, there's this bell guy. This can't be the bell guy you're talking about. The bull, yeah. I thought that's what this was. I've that bell guy right there, I haven't fought straight up. <laughs> I kill the dogs with my shuriken and walk up behind them and kill them. 
So if there's a level two version of him where I have to fight him, actually fight him, I haven't, I haven't gotten there. So I haven't gone up these steps. I, I got distracted by that, her, and then I said, hey, what's over there? <laughs> so the girl's like, ooh, butterfly. I'm sure you are all aware already. This coming battle will determine the fate of all Ashina. We go now to risk our lives for Lord Ishin and the peoples of Ashina. We are Ashina! We are unbreakable! Here! Yeah! For Ashina! That guy. That guy is pumped. I don't even think he moved. He did all that energy, projected all that force in that boy's and he's just standing there. I'm further than you. Oh. Well I completely understand if you don't if you want to avoid spoilers or whatever, but yeah. I'm I understand. Like, I'm the kind... Uh-oh. Oh. Excuse me, sir? <laughs> Speaking of not knowing what's happening... Just instinctively, I block. Who are you? Assassins on the rooftops. <laughs> I'm like, man, there's so many places I can hook shot in here. This place is great. Uh, not if there's those kind of guys looking around in every corner. It's like you're the, a direct counter to freedom of movement. You just enjoy watching the game. Well, that's cool. Appreciate you hanging out. Yeah, I kind of get the gist of the story. We got special blood. I'm suspecting that there's someone else with special blood. And that, uh oh. Somebody saw me. Oh, he's up here. I suspect that, like, the air, the special air dude's gonna have to make a sacrifice in the end, and then I'm, I'm gonna have to kill the other person with the special blood because there can there can be only one are you on top ow ow what is this it's a team attack oh god I didn't mean to hit that So the question is, can you even sneak up on these guys? Nope. <laughs> I feel like as soon as you can see them, they see you. Even if it's from the camera's perspective and not your true perspective. I could be wrong. But that sounds like a thing that would be. So the question is, if I go over here to fight this guy, does his friend over there throw? Is 
Let this be an example. Ah! Ah, oh, I knocked him down too. I can hop around too. Okay. Alright. What's up, Jason? I'm feeling better. But typically when I feel better, I actually go through symptom. Oh, I can stay alert. Like my symptoms get worse. So, so like I'll have runny nose, coughing. So the running nose is starting to come, which is actually a good sign. It's like it gets worse before it gets better for me. Uh oh. So you can't sneak up on them. <laughs> oh. It was minstrel. Minstrel commercial. Turn around. Turn around, Inkle Dude. Or I could just ignore you. I probably don't even have to go that way. I think I know what you're talking about. Yep. The the context or the uh, what is it? The um. Yeah, flying a kite. What's it called? <laughs> oh, it's the uh. The nuances of a joke sometimes get lost in text. I'm dead. I'm dying. Ah! Help! Oh God! Ah! Help! Open! It doesn't open from this side. Hell! Oh God! There's a temple right there! <sighs> Rest. Rest! <laughs> no, man, I got it. I got it. I, uh, so, 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 say it again. Say it again. Go get it this time. <laughs> ha! Joke's on you. promise I'm lost now I have no idea where I'm where I'm supposed to be in the progression of this game I done skip probably about five six checkpoints probably at the final boss don't even realize it everybody is noticing me within a split second of me oh my god is that necessary? Hey, look, I got the cure for the rot. I feel like these guys, <laughs> what's up, Dean? You got the faith. I mean, pretty much have to at this point because the strategy is not. <laughs> I'm gonna like fall through the roof and be in the end game boss fight. Like, ah, what's going on here? Hey guys, can you direct me to uh, Little Blood Boys? Like, the way these guys are standing, you would think I could eavesdrop on them. 
feel like he's gonna give me a formula. Oh, he has a gunner. He's a gunner. Who has the cannon? Oh my god. How is he not killing himself? Dude, stop. Ah! Screw this. Hey. Would you hit me? Oh, snap. Oh, God. Accidentally killing people. Yep. Back here. I blocked that time. I promise. I promise I blocked. God. God bless it. Why are there so many stuffs here? Ow! Okay, I got this. Oh. Okay. He's like relaying the coordinates in tambourine form. Ow! Ah! I thought I had the juice. Eh? Eh? Am I right? Am I right? Jason? So if this is like every other encounter, there's actually a faster way to get into it and then clear it. Usually starting with the guy who sounds the alarm, which sound, looks like this guy? If he's friendly? So, told those morons to give it a rest. But they don't. They just keep sending more. Such a pain in my... Huh? You one of them Nightjar cronies? No. Ah, of course not. There's something different about you. But I'd say you're in the same line of work. The name's Black Hat Badger. What's yours? <laughs> Real sociable one, aren't we? First this stubborn lot, now a down in the dumb shinobi, and then those Ashino boys raising hell outside. Could this day get any better? You're a fugitive. Something like that, sure. By the by, I'm a little out of pocket these days. Got the goods, but no one to sell them to. Been waiting for someone like you to show up. Uh, okay. Okay, what's the real item? That I'm supposed to buy from you. Holy jeez. Holy jeez, oh man. Well, actually, 16 and 1200 isn't that bad. Um, Anti air death blow. Which sewers the shinobi has? Anti air death blow? I'm trying to think how that works. Because death blow implies that I have to attack, but if it's anti air, then that means it's a defensive move. Which would be nice. Every time someone enters the air, I'm like, haha, death blow for you. Which would probably only apply to. Maybe that one guy we've been fighting in the tunnel. Uh, Shinobi prosthetic. This is the shield. Is this a shield that goes into a fan? 
that you saw in like the uh, I feel like all the commercials where it was like whooshing, you like flip it like a fan and it goes into a circle. Iron Fortress. I'm gonna be honest though, I think when even in general with games like these, well, I'll be here raking in the profits. Come back anytime you like. I'm kind of a purist in that. Like out of all these gadgets and stuff, I'll be like, oh yeah, this would be neat to use. You know, throw dust in their eyes, throw oil on them, and then set them on fire with a prosthetic. Like in theory, it's like, oh yeah, this is cool. But in the end, I end up just hoarding everything and just using basic moves and blocking, dodging and blocking. <coughs> You think the fan's useless? Oh, hello. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Uh, sir? <laughs> Do we need to have a conversation? Or did he explain why, why that's... This? Where's the guy? He's like... Oh, I see him. I think I see him. Maybe the speech that the guy gave gave everybody like extra alert senses. Oh god. Ah! Hooray! Hooray! Ah! Oh god, they're coming from both directions! Is guessing where he's gonna. Cap, there's fire and things like mortars. So just gotta stay strategic. Really? I see his fingertips. Chill. Tree branch. That's a usually means shortcut nearby. Hey, it's the other side of the bridge. Snake fight part two. <laughs> so the question is, can I like knock down a tree so I could actually use that shrine as a uh, shortcut to get to this, like these trees maybe? I don't know. Oh god! Oh, they're both gunners. You guys have the wrong weapon of choice. Or 
fighting me. I think that's it for this area. All it is is a, a view of where previously was, unless I'm missing something. I guess this guy, if you count, yeah, I guess he's the he's the prize of this area. If you had to sign every area, some kind of prize, light at the end of the tunnel. So if we're going to go off the assumption that the fan is trash, and that I don't use prosthetics half the time anyways. Um, what was the other thing he had? Oh, a move. A uh, anti-air death blow. Still trying to figure that one out. Maybe it's kind of like the counter move when someone throws a spear at you. You step on their spear or step on their sword, and you basically have a free hit. Maybe that's the that's the same. You anti-air into a death blow. Just like you can anti. Oh. So now I gotta venture back into Fun Town. Ow. I can't see camera, please. <sighs> Ugh. Fresh. If I hit these rooftops, it's just... I feel like this area is, like... Anti-rooftop town. <laughs> Uh-oh. Where they're like... What if you didn't hit the rooftops? What if you took the time to actually wander the streets and turn corners? Otherwise, we're going to send these birdmen after you. You have to earn your earn your space at the top. You look like a very honorable warrior. A very honorable samurai warrior with your with your ronin armor. A shame if someone would stab you again. Why am I so tiny? I wonder if being a ninja is kind of like being in gymnastics. I probably had to eavesdrop on those guys. Because of the way they were standing there was as if they were talking to each other. Oh no, it's another guy. What if being a, a ninja is like being in gymnastics where... Uh, the majority of them are tiny. Little itsy bitsy things. <laughs> Probably don't like to be, you know, referred to as itsy bitsy things. They're not. They're tiny. No! Stop! fit into little small spaces. Is this how I get out of this place? <laughs> into the high grass.
Yeah, too bad I don't use these. <laughs> Uh, so I can only assume there's a boss down here. Why is there so much high grass? This implies I need to sneak around, but there's nobody. Oh God! <laughs> oh God! Oh no! So there's, what is this, orangutans, chimpanzees. <laughs> I was like, what am I touching right here? Oh my god. I just constantly tap my target, targeting button. Oh, nope, there's one. Can it not go through the grass? So luckily, they are susceptible to a shuriken, just like the dogs. But you see how I went into alert mode. I was like, okay, this area's got something. I'm obviously meant not to, like, I'm not obviously meant to go down here like do 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 Next thing you know, I'm pounced on by three. There was at least three of them. It would make more sense if there was four. Why three? Okay, boss. Something tells me that that hay turns the set ablaze for some reason. By the shape of these mountains, this is the end of this area. So you got to reverse engineer. Sometimes, sometimes it takes some of the surprise though out of the uh, when you reverse engineer games. Sometimes, not not even from like a I'm the I'm Sirico. Sekiro. What? How do you pronounce his name? Sekiro. I am Sekiro. I'm a master strategist. Cause he would not he would not say, hey, there's high grass here, I need to sneak around. But as a gamer, your gamer sense turns on and you start reverse engineering a game from a game developer's point of view. And the best games the best game developers know that this is going to happen, so they design. I have not popped any of these balloons. I feel like I should. Is this the end of the game? It's gotten so quiet. Is this an illusion? This isn't real. Okay. So that's something up. Oh. Whoop. Oh. I don't know where I'm jumping to.
Are these guys lepers or something? Why are they all wrapped up? <laughs> I feel like... Oh my god, and there's another shrine over there. I feel like I'm just stumbling further into this game than I should be. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a movie or a show where, you're, where it's just like... Everything is going wrong. But like everything is actually, I'm like making it out alive somehow. I'm progressing. I can't think of anything that particularly good. Sudden Valley. That particularly follows that format. But there is a movie on Netflix called, I think it's like uh, Dave and something versus evil. It's like Dave and Bill versus Evil. And it's like they're just some hillbillies in the in the woods. I thought you should be able to do that. But then uh these kids are like camping nearby, right? And then they they run into them and they they run into them in the worst case circumstances where they think that these guys are creeps and like try, trying to kill them and then they end up killing themselves. <laughs> it's like, please. And into these guys in these guys per, for these guys perspective, they're like, these kids are crazy. They're just killing themselves whenever they see us. I have no idea. No idea where I'm going or why I'm going this way. I'm just compelled to make forward progress according to the available platformers. Oh god, someone sees me. Someone saw me. Oh, God. Oh, you like that dot? Ouch. Oh, that was lucky. Hey, look, another. I swear in the past... 10 minutes, I've run into three or four of these. <laughs> that's, that is, that's not the speed you should be running into these. This is the movie called Hills Got Eyes? No. Oh, hey, what's this guy? Uh, the gun fort. It was even more formidable than we'd heard. We were reckless to go in unprepared. Uh, it takes me back. I can hear the Senko temple bell. Oh, is this the bell guy? Hold on, I'm looking up the movie. Ultraman. On Netflix, what's that? It's like Giver. Uh, versus Evil. Um, evil. Uh, 
This one is like... It's gonna eat at me. Versus evil. Can't think of it. It's funny because I I always see it as a recommended movie, like watch again, and I'm like I should watch that again. That was funny. But now I can't find it when I'm actually looking for it. Dang it. Let me think. I got my I got my response back though. Wait, what did he say? <laughs> I was too busy thinking about this movie. I'm like, all right, what a, whatever, dude. Oh wait, did he say something about a bell? Did we decide that's what this is. Oh. Yeah, that's a gun. Now, oh, ha -ha. uh, at the risk of losing both of my things here, I think I'm gonna die. Cause the chances I revive myself, survive that fight, and then keep going forward and lose my other one, I don't wanna. Oh wait, here I said. Gunfort. It was even more formidable than we'd heard. We were reckless to go in unprepared. It takes me back. I can hear the Senpo temple bell. Simbo tickle the bell. There it is. Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Is it not on Netflix anymore? Tucker and Dale. Must not be on Netflix anymore. Huh. Oh, wait, it's right there. Ugh. Sneaking Netflix needs to stop changing their... their thumbnails. They change their thumbnails for their videos to try to trick you into, you know... In their mind, they're like, "Oh, it's kind of like it's kind of like uh, clickbait." They they turn their the thumbnails of movies into clickbait to try to get you to watch them. So the whole time I was looking at it, I was like, "That's not it." It's actually pretty, pretty funny. So the question is, can I sneak up on this guy with a big gun? Okay, probably not, actually. Because I surprised those guys. <laughs> I 
Gun Fortress run. That's what this is going to be known as. Let's go! So I feel like we skipped this guy, actually. We just keep going. I guess as I follow the light... I saw where I was supposed to grab. What are you doing? It's right there. Ow! I got it! Yeah, Tucker and Dale. It usually shows, like, Tucker and Dale as a thumbnail of the video, but right now, for me, it's a half-naked half naked one of the campers ninja ninja vanish interesting should I have not stopped I feel like they would have tracked me God. These guys are master ace shots extraordinaire. See, it doesn't even give me the green marker for it. Somebody, anybody. He must have fallen off. Yes, I agree. He must have. Easy. Easy does it. This will get him for sure. <laughs> there, that did it. It's like, oh yeah, that guy's dead for sure. Okay, I can see his heart beating. I can literally say his heart beating. guys around here. Why are you giving me all this literal scrap? I feel like I had more than, how many was that? One, two, three, four. That might have only been four guys shooting at me. There's definitely a big guy with a gun somewhere though. Hey. 
Did he just hit the bottom? Oh my god. Was that the was that, that was the first guy? Yep, big guy with the gun. Looks like he has his back to me. Which if I'm coming from this direction, he has to be on patrol and he has to turn around. There's no way I can walk up to this guy and kill him. Not gonna trick me game. Either he's on patrol, he's gonna turn around, or he has somebody who's definitely watching his back. Maybe even the same with this guy. Oh god! Ah! Oh, what is this? Okay, okay, screw this. Screw this. Retreat! Ah! They have booby trap floors. What in the what? In the butt. So it didn't look like the booby traps were on the snow. Oh wait, or once they're activated, they're. Mr. Big Guns guy is here now. Retreat! Tactical retreat! Uh oh. He saw me hop over. Doing good though. I still have four of my four of my flasks. I should say gourds. Four gourds, two revives, uh full health, full stack of um So the things can re trigger. Where did he go? <laughs> Someone else just hit the bottom. <laughs> Someone else just hit the bottom of the world. So the question is, is there a safe spot in between these? Okay. This is safe. So where's the guy? He's on the other side of this wall. Maybe. Uh-oh. What's that? Who sees me? Oh, he sees me up there. All right. How do we kill him right here, right now? I can't grab the edge, that ledge. I have to sneak up behind him. Can I grab? Oh, I can get behind him. Hey, my mans. Blah. So based on me receiving lives from people dying, I should have I should have received two more lives from people I've thrown off the edge, unless they hit a ledge on the way down. Buddha. Ok. 
Okay. This spot is safe. I'm still thinking the snow and going off the beaten track path is safe. I hear footsteps. Oh! How are you not seeing me? That is your punishment. Two big gun guys here. Uh, so there's a thing there, but I don't think I don't think there would be another shrine as a checkpoint back here. I could be wrong. I guess it's safer to check. This area doesn't lend itself well to be. It doesn't make me hopeful for a checkpoint. I basically have to run, make the gauntlet, run the gauntlet again. Unless there's a shorter route that maybe I could discover. It might be going around. Instead of going up the middle there, and then going straight up, coming down this way. Grabbing these trees that you see here. Going this way. Which is probably why that one guy was facing this way in the first place. The question is, is this ground safe? So I can go down there and probably get the jump on this one guy on patrol and then just fight the other guy straight up. Or fight, get this guy, retreat, and then see if I can get the other guy. What? Spare ourselves using another gourd. Full health heal. Yes. Ow. Retreat. 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 Ah. <laughs> Should have retreated right away after I killed the guy. Snap peas, uh oh. Is that a hint that somebody up upcoming is gonna have illusions? Yellow gunpowder. Did he pee on this? I was the greater. I was the doorman. We got a pellet back. Now I would suspect that maybe there's a shrine. I'd be very surprised. Okay. <laughs> starting to understand. Starting to understand patterns. 
I would be very surprised if it was like epic boss fight time and then you'd have to do that whole thing to get to this point. First try, not really, but close enough. Hello, hello, what's all them floating lots down there? <laughs> Let me guess. Let me guess where his guns are. Because this guy can't be the one guy without... Are all those pipes on his backs? You can't curve the barrel of a gun like that, can you? Is this the guy from uh, Soul Calibur? There's something about him. Is this the bell guy? Wait, yeah, he said something about a bell. Maybe he attaches the bell to his those clamps on his back and stuff, and he shoots it like a cannon. He shoots a bell like a cannon. Mayhaps. So you know when you go straight from a shrine to a boss, you know he's you know he's hard. Because usually they'd let you have to at least view it void a couple people or find an alternate route. And then we got Snap, snap Seeds, so we might have illusions coming our way too. This guy looks like a illusion y kind of guy. Hey man, can I offer some uh, Manny Petty? Let's go! Stop! Stop it, my man! Okay. There looks like there's an opening when he throws a grenade, so that's good. Or did he throw grenades? It looks like he threw like three. Either threw three like mini grenades or a shuriken. When he goes on his berserker barrage, I might have an out by jumping on his face in between his slashes, which is a, a, will be a fun game. I can try... Jumping to the walls and jumping off. Kind of like how I tried with the bull. Where it's like, oh god. Oh, I thought it. How am I? I mean, I was blocking the, the entire first string. I blocked the entire barrage. The only thing is, it filled up my posture meter all the way to the brim. And I was fully staggered. And then if he go, I think he's free to just go into a second round if he wants at that point. So I can't really block. And if I can block, I can only block certain ones, not the ones that go into Berserker Barrage. Dodging, I feel like, is none a non thing. I'm trying to think here. I'm going to try going off the walls. Ah, it tracks. It tracks my movement. Oh, that's a creepy looking dude. You think. 
So the hope was he would slash, 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 and just be slashing into a corner as I hit him in the back. But as soon as I jump over him, he turns around as he's continuing his slash. There has to be a counter. This game has, if anything, it's very consistent in how everything has some kind of counter or some kind of ultimate weakness. Uh, you know what it might be? It might be the shield. It might be the the fortress. The fortress. Uh. Um, prosthetic. That's the only thing. That's the only thing that comes to mind. And it it kind of fits the mo here. <laughs> Kind of fits, I must say. The question is, I'm not sure how you use it. Yeah, who's who's to say once I do the invincible shield that I can just attack straight out of it? Or if that 16, I have 16 emblems for it. If, is 16 enough? If, can I block it 16 times consistently, too? What's up, Tony? Yeah, I'm feeling a little better. I think I'm past the worst of it, as in my temperature, but getting better in the end is going to mean a lot of coughing and runny noses. I try the fan, but then I have to buy the fan. All right, let's see. The alternative is this, which lets me teleport through him. Maybe he's a beast and he's susceptible to firecrackers. I'm doubting this. <laughs> We're thinking the same thing. Uh, I try setting him on fire. He has robes. So maybe I can soak those robe or not robes, uh, wraps. Just be super aggressive. Uh, oh no, let me think. Last time I was I was told to be super aggressive on somebody and basically stagger or stun lock them. I did this attack over and over. So let's let's try that. Ah! Ah! <laughs> so interesting thing happened there. I rolled out of that. I, I, I stabbed him. He started his attack, and I rolled under one of his slashes. I think that was just a freak occurrence. I'm a coming. <laughs> I'm supposed to take this guy out twice. I mean, I guess every every boss of this caliber is a uh, um What if I just run in there and get that item? Maybe that's what this oh, cuz of the fog, the fog wall. He doesn't like the sparks. Ah. Okay. We got him down to half health and more than half posture. Gotta not get hit by 
I just need to time it right. It looked like I, I started to find the timing. Okay. Here we go. Sha sha. Ow. Okay. You know what I need? I need airborne prosthetic. I thought I needed that for the bull. The funny thing is, I feel like I, I need airborne prosthetic for every hard boss fight that I come to. I feel like this is finally the one. The thing is... Oh, I have it. I tried it. I could have sworn. Wait, did it cost two? Did it, did it always cost two? Hmm. That means I only have eight. Oh no, this cost. Wait a minute. Does it cost two regardless? I have eight regardless. Because this way I could jump over him as I'm throwing it. Uh, Feather. <laughs> tickle him. He'll tickle. <laughs> tickle him so much that he like. He like says stop, and he starts cutting himself, grabbing his sides. It's, I see. I see what you. See what you. The strategy there is okay. Firecracker, slash. Firecracker slash. The thing is, I can't get that many. I want to get like three in, but it's inconsistent. Ring. My dude, chill. Interesting. So if I hit him in the face, he instantly comes out of stun. But if I hit him in the back, it looks like if I hit him in the back, I could get maybe two. If I if I hit him in the face, I can only get one hit. If I hit him in the back, I could get more than one hit. It looks like this see. test. Okay. Oh wait, can you trap me in those little claw things? Wolverine. Uh oh. I always get weary when they show the dilapidated temple in the, the little loading cutscene. It's like it's like the guy there's like, help! Stop, stop dying. What can I do? I'm trying to think. Every time he gets hit and he does like a hard, like a hard whinge to it, that's him basically coming out of it, out of being stunlocked. And that's why I need to jump away. Hello!
I got one. Okay. <laughs> we have zero emblems left. So the only our only hope here, I think, is we die and on a resurrection we get our emblems back. I'm not sure. I haven't confirmed that that's, a, that's what actually happens. Stop! Okay, this is my new strat. Ah! Ow. Okay, here it is. The test. Nope, no emblems. <laughs> I know, right? It's like... Where is it? <clears throat> Dang, I need to learn my new soundboard. Where's the sound ERB? The moment's gone. Um, uh, if I jump on him, I can cancel his attack. I, I do notice that, but I can't then close the distance. Can't close the distance. What's up, Silent Stitcher? Um. Oh, God! Sorry. Oh, okay, there it is. I thought I could scroll through my soundboard, but I just activated like four different things at the same time. Um. One or two. I've, I'd be happy with one. If I could get in and get out with one hit, I'd be confident in that as a strategy to win. His entire comment reflect which would kill his pusher. Oh. You mean I have to time every single attack? What? Or is it, does he, does he immediately stop his, uh, okay, we, I guess we could test this. I see. That's how you beat him. Camera. That's how you beat him. So every time you see a bright flash, that means I, I properly blocked his attack. When it's a dim flash, that means he's, he's wrecking me. You have to time it. <laughs> no, no, no. You have to time it. Don't just block. Time it. That's what I said. No, but you didn't do it, though. God damn it. All right, let's go. Woohoo! Stop! Reset! Oh! We got it! And we just have to do what we did last time.
Woo. Wait, reset! Oh, he's switching it up now. Oh no, he's recovering! Ah. Okay. I <laughs> wasn't great timing, but we got through the first phase pretty. So, what if we get through phase one with firecrackers? No. Yeah. No. We get through phase. We have to get through phase two with firecrackers, cause. Phase two, he starts switching it up where his finisher for the combo is uh, unblockable. While through phase one, he doesn't always end with an unblockable. So we have to block all phase one and then firecracker him for phase two. For the win! Sparks. Ow! How come it seemed like you got you were getting staggered? Sir. Ah, oh, get out of my face! <laughs> I don't think I got it, but that was a pretty gnarly close-up. I feel like his his posture wasn't breaking as fast there. Or do I need to at least land one firecracker for him to uh, start the snowballing of his posture? I can't say. I feel like I need to also attack him to help build up his block. So I attack him. Block. Attack. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to just do it off of blocking, but I don't I feel like I need to contribute. <laughs> this is a That was an accident. How am I missing that last one? It's so obvious. Is my posture bar is pretty big. I feel like I'm pretty well leveled for this fight. Yeah. 
I kind of want to back off to build up my posture bar back, though. And the only th the only way I can think to do that is a uh, firecracker. If I want to save it for phase two. So what else could buy me time for posture? I feel like you'll block. I feel like you'll block sand or uh, dust. Whatever this is, ash. Hey. <laughs> okay, that could work. Get out. Oh, I threw it. Oh, you got it. Question is, I use five ash just now. Am I gonna have ten? Oh, you had a bigger posture thing. I mean, I feel like it's just right. Okay, my ash replenished. Okay, so the ash is actually pretty strong. If only the th the only thing is how fast I'm throwing it out is super slow. It's really bad. Oh, you know what? What if we ask him a question? For phase one, Ash Axe. Because Axe is supposed to be a pretty brutal. Oh, wait, because I'll use an emblem. Never mind. Ignore me. I'm like, Axe is supposed to destroy posture. Okay. Try God mode. called blocking. Ow. Ow. Okay. Posture. <sighs> okay, I can't get my I can't let my posture get above a certain point. I need to use the ash. okay, I got this. I just need to figure out when to use the ash and to rest myself and not even attack. What's a go? This lets me rest up while it preserves his. Hurry! Oh no! Oh! I just needed to throw out one firecracker and we could have had it. I could attack back, but then I risk one of these. Getting stuck. I, I hit that like me twice. 
basically when you spam a button to get out your attacks, but then next thing you know you're stuck in the animation, and then he attacks me while I'm stuck in the animation, which isn't always as punishing as you would think. But uh, I'm trying to minimize my greed. And also, I think if I attack, it keeps my poise meter high. Oh. So if my if my me blocking builds my poise meter, the moment I start attacking it maintains my poise meter big. So the reason why I don't attack is so I could go back to zero so I could keep blocking him while his stays up. I mean we could try it, let me see. I'm just I think I think it prevents me from recovering. It's big now. Oh wait. Hold on. Let me try again. So I throw. I throw this, then I attack. Yeah. Oh my god, I blocked. It's one swing. I could probably swing once in there. I'm like I said, I'm trying not to tempt myself to get greedy. Be like, maybe if I hit him twice. Maybe if I hit him three times. Maybe up, oh, up, oh, nope, he's up, nope, nope, he's comboing me. <laughs> up, oh, nope, got a little I went for the fourth and then uh The trick is actually to get him up against the wall. So then when he backs up from that. Nice. Oh god, okay. Uh, I think he's a little bit faster. So Firecrackers is not sure if I, I just have to basically beat him at his own at the same way. I think I got it. I think I have pl plenty of ash for it. Ten. Ten ash? That should be enough, right? No. There's basically no, if you miss it, there's no real getting out of it. I mean, I, I guess I could try jumping on his face. 
I keep trying to jump away. I got this guys. There's many routes to success. Okay. I thrash at him. I think his thing is recovering faster. So he's fa he's a tad bit faster, so I can't do firecrackers. I can fall back on firecrackers now. I should just use everything. Firecrackers. Uh, ash. Firecrackers, ash. Blocking. In the first phase, just stick to blocking. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Black Hat is dying. Ah! Oh god. He immediately popped out of it. No! Are we getting close? I did the wrong thing. He enters right back into his combo. I thought he resets. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Starting to get a little bit of the nuances here. Oh no, now I have nine ash because I revived. Excuse me? Oh my god. What's the point of jump prosthetic if you can't pretty much instantly reactivate it? I'm dying. I guess jumping into a battle and then going prosthetic first. Five? 
Pardon et moi. Five Ash. Are you kidding me? It's taking it away each time I get. I think it's like doing a micro save state with my inventory after I defeat his, his stock. First, no, that wait. It's penalizing me. With the, is it the death penalty? Right, we'll do it with five ash. Do I have now? <laughs> Is there a place where I can buy Ash? Can I buy it from this? Let's better have some ash. I can get to the jump on these guys. Okay. I thought I got hit by something there, but whatever. That's all I want. I guess I could also be looking for... I could just... Wait. Oh. <laughs> 
Ow. Smoothest. I usually don't go into that town. Housing powder. Did we get any? Dang it. So now the real question is can I buy it from like this vendor up here? And does he have unlimited supply? Gut check is that he doesn't have an unlimited supply. Care to purchase an offering? Gah! So even if it did, even if it did have it, I just have to use firecrackers. May the departed rest in peace. May the departed. Um, where's the closest? Or is it back this way? Okay, no ash. This will keep it simple for me. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll just keep it on um, health. But he shouldn't be hitting me. Okay. I feel like we just grind this out until I luck out, unfortunately. We had something with the ash, but then the ash wanted to be 
difficult by banishing from my inventory. I thought I could stop him from attacking if I jump on his face. <clears throat> I wonder if I can stop his unblockable if I jump on his face. <coughs> I call it unblockable even though sometimes you can block it. This is it. Yes! yes! Yellow gunpowder! <laughs> this is whatever yellow gunpowder ends up being in the end, in the long run, it better be worth it. Okay, that's better. After all that, after all that, it just seems too easy now. <laughs> that fight seems way too easy. After all that, and then we beat him. Not even close. Large fan. Wait, is this the one I'm thinking of? Finally. That was very anticlimactic. I just, I just lucked out on some of the timing there. Of his of my blocking finally synced in with his. My time was falling, uh, abduction, high, an eight handed fan. Wait, what? Is this some kind of indecipherable haiku poem? A large fan made of dried red Japanese uh, Aurelia leaves. Maybe Traditional me prosthetic to become a prosthetic tool. Fanning it creates a large vortex of wind springing by those who catch it, who it catches. So it's like a, is a fusro da? This is basically what it is. Fusro Under here. All this yellow gunpowder. What is it? What is it for? Um. That that guy didn't have the key. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have nightmares and in my dreams. I'm gonna hear ching, 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 <laughs> ching, 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 
until there's locked doors. I feel like the locked door is over. My inevitable progress. Random meandering progress. Drawback. I feel like the only purpose for this ledge is to, for me to retreat. As I continue to uh, see right there. Who has the key? Was there a third guy in this room? Oh yeah, the doorman. And that guy up there, I guess, is four. So, I guess somebody else has the key. Because I don't think, there's no map. I mean, none of these games ever have maps, but I don't think there's any other route that I could have taken through that area. I feel like Gun Fort is the end of Sunken Valley. Which was... Started here. It's actually almost 3 a.m. here, so I probably should be at the stopping point, but I kind of want to beat one more boss. I've been doing good at being like two bosses at least, whether they're mini bosses or main bosses per stream. So, Sunken Valley was this way. I go the opposite way. <laughs> Ow. Ow. You guys are terrible shots. Woof. Hold there and get back out of here. In a castle, reservoir, old grave. I want to say Old Grave is where those guys were, were like shooting cannons, right? And we found that one guy that now has the cough of death. This guy. Uh. Sorry, man. I took rot. <laughs> Damn. Things have taken a, a bad turn. It's my man. My, mm, hey. It took me a while to get the pattern, okay, Mr. Black Hat Badger? It took me a while to get the rhythm of the blocking. So you just. I appreciate you taking one for the team. Um, I kind I'm kind of interested in this though, so let me do this. Let me do this. I have five of these. Okay.
do we get the Iron Fortress just to have it before this guy dies? <laughs> I feel like that's the ultimate punishment for if you just keep dying too much. We do technically have a teardrop, so we could cure this guy. What happens if I use it on myself? To uh do whatever happens. Get whatever benefits. Sure, let's just get it. And I'm going to actually use it right in front of him turn in all affected with dragon what will be healed use it will slightly increase resurrective power wait is this like if the circles over there weren't filled in will it just fill those circles in is that what resurrective power means because that wouldn't be worth it. That'd be not worth it. In my mind, increasing resurrective power means I get more health every time I resurrect, as opposed to half health. Let's let's just see what happens. Wait, the best way to test it is to. Yeah. Best way to test it is to resurrect one time. So let's see. Let's die. Guess I'll die. Probably die in a good place though. You missed. I'll die to this guy. You lost me already? Come on. Ooh. Oh man, that was so good. You did a good job. Wow, yeah. Oh. Oh. Come on! Kill me! Bleh. As if this is the death that kills the dude, the little guy. So we're gonna resurrect here. Um. And we're gonna wait for this slash to go away too, just in case that interferes with our our testing. We're doing this for science. I'm a scientific shinobi. Doesn't it just come back over time? somebody you have to kill somebody that didn't work Gonna eat it now if that slash doesn't go away. How do I, can I, how do I get be able to resurrect again? Was like that unworthy of bringing back my resurrected power?
Looks like you're dying for science, my dude. Is that why you're shooting it? Can you shoot him? Oh, that would be so funny. Ow! Okay. Full health, one resurrection. Maybe I get three resurrections? Okay, invisibly did nothing. It didn't give us a, a second one. So now we have to see if we get half health. Now. <coughs> For science. Doesn't that have an angle on me? Yeah. Resurrection. Okay. So as of right now, I have no idea what... As of right now, I have no idea what... Uh Increase resurrection. It says slightly too. I made a point to say slightly, so it's not like it gives me a whole nother. Oh God! <laughs> it said slightly, so it doesn't make. And it shows that I have two there. Did he give me one? No, I have the one from resting. When I died, it, it still gave me half health. I have no idea what what it does. I mean, I bet I could look it up, but I wanted to I wanted to science it. Okay, is that the way we went? No. Which is the way we went? the sunken valley was it this way that's the field it's death so I wonder if I could jump all the way over there. Probably not. It's probably not even fully rendered rendered in. Oh, the ninja slide into... The ninja slide into assassination. Okay, we, we went this way, right? We went this way. We found that weird 
uh, temple after the orangutans or whatever. And then down there is a the sunken valley. So we need a key. I should probably kill these guys, actually. Because they're going to see me if I try to go over there on the other side. Oh, wait, you've shot. You're saying we don't have enough salt? Yes, sir. We use it for cooking, of course. But we also use it on wounds and for purifying the dead. So at the rate people are dying, we're out then? Yes, sir. That's why many on the battlefield are falling ill. I see. We'll need to find a way to get some salt then. Salt. Going down that way, we've gone down this way. Let's work our way counterclockwise around this area. What's over there? Looks like piranha. A piranha. I have a better chance of reaching that from. Bridge, the corner. They land on this. Oops. See it from here. I don't know if I can make this. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, God. It's actually pretty close. I wonder if I can make this jump. I can't. Break this wood. Maybe it's a straight-on jump would be would be better. Oh, I guess that's a better way to get back. Ah, it's so close. Do it. What kind of piranha is it? It's freaking doesn't that open from the side doors. Assassinate it. Ah, oh, so close. Hey, man, jail. Ah. <laughs> Matt, my brosef. Oh god, that's a boss one. What's that? Ow.
Yeah, killed it. Where is it? Get up. There's something in this water. There has to be. That, number one. Number two, this is an unreasonably large body of water. There will be nothing. And then whatever I do to, whatever I do to this here. Yeah, it's like just not ready to be grabbed. Um, whatever I, whatever I have to beat here probably gives me access to that. And then that. So let's uh, let's see what this is. My guess is it activates when I swim over it directly. No. Ow! I killed another one of your kin. Come out here, fish. in there. Wait a minute. It's just out of range. Unless I can get to the rooftops and maybe jump down onto that. This is how high I can get for this area. <coughs> Excuse me. How did I even get over here? I fell over here, didn't I? Classic. And then we're stuck here. Oh, wait. Let me try something else. Anybody in there? I hit it headless. Oh god. Did I activate? Or did I am I not supposed to walk over the bridge? Scripted event. Nothing. Back way. It'd be too easy. <laughs> So maybe I activate it and I actually go over to it. Ah! <laughs> Insta death. Interesting. what resurrective power I've regained thus far. That's a, that's a yikes. You know what? What if also consuming the tear makes it so that every time you die, people die that much faster. So there's basically no way out for me. 
once again, I'm forced to go back to the front of the castle. Which is this one? And then... What what's in there? I'm sure you are all aware already. This coming battle will determine the fate of all Ashina. We go now! Can I assassinate this guy in the middle of his Lord speech? Ishin and the peoples of Ashina! We are Ashina! We are unbreakable! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, that guy got totally broke. Did the rooftop Bird guys not respawn? Looks like they don't. Oh no, I fell down. off his support one by one and then try to go up against him. I'm sure you are all aware already. This coming battle will determine the fate of all our See now they don't have a buffer. They don't have motivational speech engaged. Ow! Oh god, he's alive! You're Ashina. Just me and the big guy. Then time out. Fine, I'll go a little further. But I don't want to run into another bird man. I feel like I haven't gone this direction. This general direction. Reaching the top of that mountain is probably where I'm supposed to end up going. Eventually. OK. 
Can I take him? That's the question. For Ashina! I'm tempted to go with the spear again, like I did for the spear guy. Idea what that looked like. Um, Woo, that's fast. Now. Wrong thing equipped. I feel like the other guy with the spear was harder than this guy. So I should be. This guy should be outclassed. Woohoo! -hoo. Two more attacks for you, bud. And we got a bead, yay. I gave him way too much respect. Oh, wait. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting to time that one right. I did. I tried the other day and I didn't get it. Um, I don't. I don't use these. None of these doors open. What what door opens from the side that I'm on? <laughs> Is there like a matrix door over there where it's like that room with all the doors? There's got to be. So the thing is, if I rest here, does that guy still give the speech? He's like, we ushered, uh, what, what, what happened to the guy? Where's the guy? If he, if he starts talking, I'm gonna still kill him. It's like, where's, what's his name? He's supposed to give a speech. I don't know. So that's not, that's actually not the side, the alternate, the alternate boss that was looking to fight. The one I'm interested in.
would be oh wait can I finally open the door from the correct side yes the ninja guy the ninja guy in the well I think we give him a couple more tries Big old room. Oh, that's all you have. Here we go. <coughs> Just where I wanted to go to. Based on my recent fight, I'm tempted to try Firecracker to see if it works on this guy. Oh, this guy's dying too. Why can't the bad guys die? I mean, I guess that would be... That uh, that would actually work out. I mean... It would make the game easier, but, like, you know... It would make sense, right? If he sucks so bad that you gotta... Guy's posture is dead. That's my that's my thing now. It's my jam. Ow! Ow! I can't see. Oh my god. Oh my, just when Getting better at posture thanks to that one boss. That's the guy I wanted to beat today. How many bees do I have now? Why can't you look at it on the screen? Like I have three now? Oh god. Dungeon. 
is it? What are you? Rut row. Is this the same guy? GG. GG indeed. Now let's just uh, let's just have a peek. At what we're up against next. And now I'm thinking that the one guy that slows your your attacks down and his moves are super slow, it's just basically a posture fight still, but just under high more stressful conditions because you're uh you're uh being enveloped in miasma or whatever it is should we jump in Shall we? Let's go straight in for it. I don't know. That seems like a guy that'll. That seems like a guy that'll keep me down there if I don't. Know. <laughs> he seems like he's the kind of guy that will prevent somebody from resurrecting and getting out. Uh, I can't grab this ledge. Okay. I should go down there. What? What? I have zero gourds. And I get ash. I've, I've accumulated three more ash in the time. Oh, this is gonna be one of my running adventures where I just f randomly find an area. Maybe. Looks like there's plenty of places to get some shiny loot. Oof. Oh, here we go. I rest here, right? Three out of four beads for the next vitality boost. Does this guy have my fourth? What are the odds I could fight him and then we sh I just straight up... Uh-oh. Wait, this looks like a... Cool little shot, Ona. Ah, what am I doing? Ona. pictures in this game. Hey, what are you? Will you be cast out? Or throw yourself in? What? If you wish to go to the very depths of Ashina, then you'd best cast yourself out. Over there. The depths of Ashina are over there. Whatever you say, lady. Whatever you say, crazy lady. I was just spamming it, assuming that there would be opportunity. I wonder if you die. If you don't, is this where I'm supposed to go? Hey man, just want to talk. Oh no! Get it off me! This is one of those things that comes back. Hey Ash. 
He's back awake. from Oh no Okay Yeah that's what I was thinking I was thinking like you die if you just take a true truly blind leap of faith but the correct thing to do is to actually scale downward but in fairly Blind. Uh, conditions. So there's a hook shot thing here, so there might be something out in this direction if I jump. <laughs> uh oh, where am I going to teleport back to? Hook shot. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have spanned the camera around. I thought I'd give maybe more options. But given the positioning of that shrine, it's probably positioned just right to begin with. Ah, excuse me. Okay. Okay. Ah, I must be right there. <laughs> Unless... Oh, yeah, okay. This has to be the absolute last place you can grab on. So maybe it's not the scale down, but the scale up. And this is the absolute last place you could possibly grab onto. I'm thinking. Scale up to what? We saw the zombie guy. Basically scaling right down here maybe? this we've been making so much rapid progress this stream it's it's crazy <laughs> it's like there's so many questions that have gone unanswered because I'm just randomly why this why that why that why this who knows? Oh god! Oh no, not these guys! Ow! Oh my god. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> so I just should have dropped down here. On top of this guy, right here. Where is he? Uh, 
My guess is the floor is lava. Play by floor is lava rules and I'm good. Another shrine? How many? If anything, the number of shrines that they're giving us at this point is actually throwing me off of how much progress we're making. Ouch! Can I make it up there? Wait. Snake Eye Shrine. Ooh. Who's this boss that his life is in the corner? Top corner there. Spooked me. Killed all his friends. Ah, he killed me! I think that's the guy. That's the guy whose boss help we have now. And all his friends are dead. Oh, wait, not this guy. Maybe. Oh no, I don't know if I could get back up to. Wait, I know where one is. Hmm, interesting. Interesting boss fight. I don't think I have the patience for it right now, though. It's already almost 4 a.m. I'm streaming for three and a half hours, pretty much. But basically, there's a bunch of <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> there's a bunch of guys with guns. I need to basically take them all out stealthily. Without taking too much damage, if damage at all. And then go after the one guy with the gun who's over there. <clears throat> I want to say that that's the guy. He has the robe. All these other guys, their legs are individually bandaged. Well, he has a robe covering both his legs. That's the boss. So, that's where we're stopping the day. Dude. Dude, do do. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Luckily, we didn't get too stuck for too long with uh, the uh, Wolverine and Berserker Barrage boss. But, um, I'm not gonna lie, it took me a while to get through it through the timing. There was, and it wasn't even that hard. And, but it did teach me a lot more about posture. I thought firecrackers are only good for beasts, but it's just better for them. They can still be used to stagger. And more importantly, maintain the posture damage you have on your enemies. Give you time to take a break, 
heal, um, reduce your own posture damage, and then go back in for some more. So with that, I'm thinking leveling up my ability to use more emblems is actually a good call. <clears throat> that was hard before, yeah. And now we got that spooky guy. We have the ho we have a headless guy down in the cave that's more towards the beginning of the game. Which I'm actually interested to see if I can take him on. Even if he slows me up, if I just time my posture damage on him better. Maybe he's meant to be slow to kind of teach you, okay, posture damage, posture damage, posture damage, because you can't do regular damage. Or uh, there's that guy, there's a spookier guy that's summoning heads from skeletons. Um, there was a locked door behind. I wanna, I'm trying to remember the name from the guy from uh, Soul Calibur that had, uh, was it Siegfried? I don't remember. That guy. But yeah, thanks, Silent. Stitcher for hanging out. Dean, God bless as well. Um, and I think there's a, maybe a corner of the rooftops that I haven't explored yet, either in the actual city or in the corner. That I, th I think I have a general sense of maybe where there might be more places to poke around, make progress in weird ways by just falling into it haphazardly. But yeah, see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. I'm still not 100%. Maybe I just take a break. Maybe I switch up the games. Maybe I keep going, keep grinding. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. But thanks again. I'm out. Peace.